I am so sick of comp. I hate that people seem to get upset over the littlest things and throw. And like a virus, it spreads extremely quickly. One tilted person is now two, then three. And yeah, maybe others aren't picking throw heroes, but they are mentally giving up because they know if one person quits trying, it's very difficult to secure a win. And now I find myself constantly tilting. I decided to quit comp entirely. It's all just too stressful. They need to do something about comp. Then I thought, well, instead of quitting, how can I make the experience better? Well, I can find some people to queue up with. And while I do have some friends I can do that with, they either aren't always available, are playing other games, or they themselves have been disenfranchised by competitive. So I've come to a decision. I have decided to bring Team Reflect back to life. And you guys are now its members. I am opening up a Discord that strictly focuses on improving. I've seen a lot of discords that seem a bit too messy to me and are just ruined by a lot of nonsense talk and many of them I don't even pay attention to the notifications anymore. So I'd like to avoid that. If you'd like to chat with people casually, there are plenty of other discords for that. This discord is meant for a kind of get in get out type of thing I guess. You need coaching? Boom. Done. You need a team to group up with? Boom. Easy. Well, at least that's the goal. Here is a list of what I would call the Team Reflect Doctrine that I hope everyone follows and agrees with. Number one, no carries. This Discord isn't about getting boosted and obtaining an artificial rank that doesn't reflect your skill. Everyone will be responsible for themselves. Number two, no blaming. In order to improve, you have to focus on yourself. Blaming others just ensures you will not improve and in theory, if everyone takes responsibility, then there's no need to point fingers. Now, constructive criticism is different and that's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about toxicity. Number three, no judging of rank. I definitely can sympathize with this when I say that while most people are in their rank for a reason, there are a handful that simply get some real bad luck with matchmaking. I've talked with a GM player about this and they say they have genuinely played with low rank players that deserve a higher rank. And for those players that are in the rank they belong in, that does not mean they cannot improve and even become more skilled than you. I've seen it happen so no one should be looking down negatively on those at low ranks. Number four, always be critical. I brought this up when talking about blaming others. It's important to always look at yourself and trying to figure out what you could have done better. Remember, the only person you have control over is yourself, so no need to frustrate yourself because you can't make others do what you would do. I know for myself, I have some work to do on this myself. Number five, you have to accept that everyone makes mistakes. Some mistakes cost matches, yes, but many mistakes don't, and we need to understand that. If no one whiffed on their ultimate and always got maximum value, then Overwatch would simply be a numbers game and the outcomes of matches would be very predictable with no room for comebacks. So understand everyone makes mistakes. Including you. Yeah, you, the pro player. Number six, help each other improve. It's nice to have coaches help, but ultimately you should learn to coach yourselves and each other. Improvement will happen much faster this way. It goes back to the old saying, give a man a fish and feed him for a day. Teach a man to fish and you feed him for a lifetime. Number seven, the last one, currently at least, we'll see how things go, is that we should all encourage reviewing our own gameplay. I'm actually going to cover this in another video in depth, but I think the most underrated tip to improving is to watch your own gameplay. It can really be eye-opening to mistakes you make that you didn't think you ever made, but constantly do it. We will help you learn how to review your own gameplay and what to look for. If you are interested in becoming a coach of Team Reflect, then feel free to leave a comment below and I'll be in touch. There's no set schedule for coaches and it's completely their choice on when they want to coach. It's all encouraged, not forced. Also, I'll be organizing scrims because climbing is more of a secondary goal to actually improving, so we will have friendly scrims on a weekly basis. I haven't decided on a day yet because I'm spending time with my wife on the weekend, but if we get enough coaches, I'm sure we can organize them more frequently. Now, obviously, there will be those that break the rules, and that's fine. Repeated offenders, however, have a special timeout role where they are still allowed to stay in the Discord, but they cannot communicate with anyone. And further action would simply be to ban them from the Discord. And if they create another Discord name, that's fine, because if they follow the rules with a new name, then it's good for everyone. If they repeat the negative behavior, then they will simply go through that process again until they are banned again. It will be an ongoing thing, and that I understand, and it doesn't affect me. So with all that said, welcome to Team Reflect. Hope to see you there. Be sure to leave comments below with any questions. 
If you enjoyed the video, be sure to share, like, and subscribe to the channel. My name is Chit, and I approve this message.